Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12, and this is my test world. We are going to be looking at another module today. Yes, it is another Ripper one. There's a lot to get through. <laughs> it's another Ripper one, and caveat for this one, it is one of the premium modules. So if you're already a patron, you have access to it. If you're not, then you don't. Um, but, you know, we're looking at more and more of the actual patron ones now bear in mind with ripper's patron if you're if you are a patron you get access to all of the premium modules um not just you know you're not just paying for each individual module so if you're already a member this might be something that you just want to add on if you're not a member it might push you over the edge there to doing that up to you uh, we're looking at paper doll um so this is my active module list as you can see i've only got paper doll in here so everything we are looking at is either core foundry core D, &D system i'm still on D, &D 3.2.1 i haven't updated to the 3.3 .3 version because there are a few little twitches with it at the moment with regard to some of the mods um probably not rippers because the updates is so damn fast <laughs> uh, but there we go all right paper doll what what does it do Okay, well, a lot of you will know as soon as I show you what it does. Uh, let's open up Haley. Okay, I've got to stop using that phrase, haven't I? All right, so it does nothing to our character sheet except we have a new icon in the top right here. Um, can you see there's a little person thing? If I click that, it says Paper Doll, it brings up this. Now, for any of you who play video games, computer games of an RPG genre, you'll be very familiar with this. It's a drag and drop for equipping your items. So if I go to my equipment tab here, we can see just down here, unarmed strike obviously is always equipped. Nothing else is equipped, but I can take Haley's chainmail. Now bear in mind her armor class currently is 10. I can take her chainmail, drag that onto her armor slot, it has updated our armor class appropriately and it's made it equipped so dropping it into the slot equips it which of course the background core function updates the armor class so i can also drop her shield down here and again it's going to auto equip it and therefore calculate in the correct bits there so i can just drag all of her items like her holy symbol up here so we've got some you know uh, attenuated items you know attuned items um, that we drop in there as well but we can drop in all of her equipment onto the sheet and it will automatically have them as activated so arguments over hang on a minute how many weapons are you currently holding at the moment it's like no no i've got that one no i've got that one actually you really need to represent them on the sheet in this way that's one way of doing it, uh, it this is purely a look and feel thing isn't it it's not really adding any additional functionality um, but especially if you've got groups of players who are used to playing things like Baldur's Gate you know computer games and stuff they might find this really appealing um, I also love the way that this portrait brings in it's just gorgeous really really nice uh, so let's have a look at another example well actually before I do that we're going to go and look at some of the settings so if I go to my configure settings paper doll we have hardly any um, because it does what it needs to do so one of the ones that you might want really to be interested in is auto open so that means i don't need to click on that little paper doll icon to open up that part i can click that on okay so there we go um, and you can see you can have that paper doll to the left or to the right or the center i'm happy with it on the left um, hide the actor header button just little configurations you can do but there's also this configuration of the paper doll itself now you notice you can change the color um, and things like that add a new slot by clicking the plus button um, remove a slot by right clicking it uh, select an image for the slot by left clicking on it etc so you can see on the right here I can go add and I've got another slot here I can right click to get rid of them so if i want my characters to have only two items that they can have tuned to them at any one time i can just remove one and go there we go that's your paper doll you only get two to choose from alternatively i can add extras on um we've got one necklace two rings uh i don't know your you your character might be playing a different race where you go well look, it's not you you don't have a neck you can't wear a necklace you can remove it from their paper doll <laughs> I don't know <laughs> a bullywog or something <laughs> um, or, or you might say that actually you know you allow characters to have more than one ring per hand uh, you can do that 
you know we've got torch down here we can add additional torches light sources whatever if we want to and again water skins they might have more than one i don't know what water skins are they i think they're um they're, they're throwable objects i think um but yeah so you can do that you can modify it you know only one cloak only one armor one gloves one boots one helm um but you can change it if you want to which is really really nice now again i think the defaults are set up for standard this is system agnostic which means while you might kind of say oh well, hang on i mean is this set up for D, &D? Uh, you can use it in any game system within foundry so it's not just stuck to D, D, which is really really good so therefore customizing your paper doll might be more relevant for you if you're on a different game system i think things like pathfinder it's probably very similar you probably wouldn't need to modify it but something else you might want to and note that you can change the name of those things. So let's save that. Okay, let's have a look at Sorryman then. So I've got that auto open now. So this has come up straight away. It's right there. Now, obviously, this is taking up a lot of real estate on the screen. So that's why the option to be able to pop it in and pop it out is probably a good one. Uh, because, yeah, it does take up a lot of real estate. It depends how often your characters are, your players are needing to come into their character sheets. But just like before, we can um, just put his stuff in. So we can give him his court staff. We can drag that in there. Uh, he hasn't got any armor, but I am going to put. He's going to wear some clothes rather than being naked. Uh, yes, it is a costume for him. <laughs> Don't ask. But we can pop his helm on. Okay, uh, he's got a cloak of protection. We can pop that on as well. So a uh, ring of acid resistance can go on there. He's got a belt of dwarven kind, so we can stick that on um, on there etc so it literally is just drag and drop and you can see that that has activated all of those things as he has equipped them now if i want to unequip something like take this ring off one quick right click it's gone it takes it off and it has deactivated it as in it's not an equipped item anymore uh, and that works with all of these just one right click and away they go so it's really easy really simple um, visually it's absolutely beautiful the question is does it add anything for your group for your party now while I think it is beautiful and I love it for me for my group so if we think of my curse of Strahd is it adding anything and I would suggest probably not I don't know I really really like it and I want to use it but I'm not sure it actually adds anything I think it's going to be one of those that it's like yeah 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 and I'll leave it installed but actually I won't necessarily use it <sighs> don't know anyway what do you think uh is it are you using it already let us know um would you use it you know but even, I'm not suggesting that you need to install it because you might not want to but if you had patreon to ripper would you use this as well uh, let me know uh as usual leave a like drop a comment if you're not subscribed please do so ring the bell to be notified of further videos if you don't ring the bell then i win and you don't get spammed which is lovely isn't it everyone's a winner and uh once again thank you to uh, all the members of this channel who help keep these videos coming take care everyone i will see you in the next one